The price of Bitcoin has absolutely skyrocketed in 2017. No other currency has found itself in comparison. The growth has completely put the so-called traditional currencies to shame. The public is looking for an alternative to the financial system and it's clear much investment has found its way into the cryptocurrency world. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to talk about Bitcoin. It is closing in on its record high. So let's get into that right away, looking at this chart very briefly from coinmarketcap.com. You could see approximately $2,500 at this time. Let's look at the chart very quickly. There was a big run up recently and then a significant pullback but we can see slow and steady it has made its way to exceed 2500 and it's going on its way to 3000. one of the points that i wanted to make here is that it is very evident there's a lot of speculation but to say that there's speculation in bitcoin and cryptocurrencies and to ignore the speculation that takes place every minute of every day in all of the other markets, whether it's you know the foreign exchange markets, stock markets, anything else, I mean, that's a little silly. There's speculation in all markets. We can see that. The only issue with cryptocurrencies is that the market cap is much smaller. So a manipulation can go a lot, lo a lot further anyway, and you'll see the price going wild in some cases. So that's some point that I wanted to make here. Let's quickly cover some of these uh, points, beginning with this. Abby Johnson, the CEO of Fidelity. Everyone knows Fidelity. Look at what they said. Blockchain technology isn't just a more efficient way to settle securities transactions. It will fundamentally change market structures and maybe even the architecture of the internet itself. I don't know about the second part of that, but definitely it is going to have a major impact. There's much more in this article here. All I wanted to cover from it because I didn't necessarily like where it went on all of the points. But what's important to note is that the banks are getting into the blockchain. And I actually don't like that personally for me. They suggest in the article that people want it to become mainstream. And I'm not part of this whole you know, Bitcoin community to the degree that many people are at this time. But I think it needs to remain underground and sort of not popular. We need the people who are working on the infrastructure to be doing what they do. But at the same time, I don't think having banking establishments getting involved in any degree is a good thing. We need to get away from the banking establishments. It's not going to be beneficial if JP Morgan starts being able to influence it in any way. I don't think that's good, but I'm not an expert. So if you can see what I'm saying there, your input is obviously appreciated. Very quickly, it's maturing. Bitcoin and, and all cryptocurrencies at this time, this is obviously old by now, but just as a comparison, approximately $80 billion, when you look at the market cap of these cryptocurrencies, and compare that to some of the biggest names in the US. Massive valuations that are happening, 80 billion, 80 billion, it shows you that it's not so small time anymore. I mean, just a few years ago, it was a few billion dollars. And now today, it's at the same market cap of some of these large companies. So it's definitely matured over the past few years since, let's say, its 
last major crash back 2013 or so. Bitcoin as a percentage of the total crypto market. Bitcoin is the most popular digital currency. That's a fact. What we can also point out is that although there was sort of a slow and steady decline as new currencies came onto the market, in the recent past, we have seen that share dropping dramatically. And that's a good thing because new currencies bring new things to the table. The only issue that has been brought up by many people is the sort of diluting effect. And, you know, I'm just here to point out what I see in the charts. I'm not giving my opinion on this. Let me just move on. This here, from a little while ago, I covered this actually when it happened, and now it seems like it was so long ago, even though it was so recent, the fact that it crossed the barrier to achieve a higher price than gold. And I remember covering that, and it went from a price of approximately $1,200 to over $2,500 in the blink of an eye. So it can happen, but it's not really saying that it can't go down to this level at any moment. I mean, you see the price throughout 2013. I mean, it pretty much went straight up. And the total value there, the let's say the multiplication of how many times it went up in that short span is absolutely insane. Now, this time around, it had really taken off slow but in the recent months in fact it has gone just astronomical i think it's gone too fast personally i wish that it would take a little setback find some firm footing and then continue on nothing is good when it just simply goes up too fast that's not a good sign and we have seen some pullbacks that's for sure but it needs to really have a significant pullback this is from an infographic, which I find interesting. For those who don't know, the famous Bitcoin pizza transaction takes place back in May of 2010. So this individual here, I think it's written below here, but essentially what happened was a guy bought a pizza using Bitcoin. And at that time, you know, Bitcoins are so cheap. But it, that same value today, uh, at the time of this chart, actually, it's gone up significantly, was literally millions of dollars. Now, that must have been a tasty pizza to pay millions of dollars for it. So that's just a little interesting note there. Bitcoin was the top currency in 2016, escalating just so fast in such a short period of time, gaining 126% in 2016. I mean, obviously 2016, 2017 could be a rocket ship in comparison to what we see here. You know, they're showing you in this image the rocket ship, but 2017 could be just make 2016 seem like nothing the way that it's going. I mean, it's going really, really fast. And then you look at Brazil or, or Russia. I mean, this is after taking significant beatings, especially Russia, not too long ago, the ruble was pounded. So surely it has a long way to go or an easy way to go to get back up to it. But Bitcoin, on the other hand, it's just been rising and rising. So... I don't know what's going to stop it, although they say there's going to be an event in August. And I'm not going to get into the details here, but essentially there could be some major turbulence at that time. I'd like to switch gears 
for a moment here. Everybody knows that the price of gold is manipulated. That's a fact. And I found this very interesting. I wanted to bring it to you. I think it's relevant in this video talking about Jim Rickards or James Rickards. And he said this, I spoke to a PhD statistician who works for one of the biggest hedge funds in the world. Can't mention the name. He looked at the COMEX, the primary market for gold, opening prices and COMEX closing prices for a 10 year period. He was dumbfounded. He said it was the most blatant case of manipulation he's ever seen. And then check this out. He said if you went into the aftermarket, bought after the close and sold before the opening every day, you would make risk free profits. He said it's statistically, it's impossible unless there's a manipulation occurring. We're talking about a PhD statistician looking at this. We have seen this going on before. I mean, we know, look at GATA or GATA. They look into the manipulation all the time. You can't hide this anymore. How obvious it is. The price has been subdued and there's no telling how long they can keep this up. Gold should be a lot higher relative, in one way, relative to the amount of money that's been printed. I mean, it's clear. There's inflation there. Food prices are rising. Energy prices are rising. Life's getting more expensive. Gold, on the other hand, is not rising. It's been trading in a range for years. Doesn't even make sense anymore. And now we know that the price is manipulated. That worries me for any particular asset. Not just gold. What about Bitcoin? You know, once they get their hands on it, it's really bad. That's why we need to take every single precaution that we can. If it's Bitcoin, you need to store your own Bitcoins. You can't rely on all these exchanges and everything else to keep your money. It's just not safe. Not necessarily that that exchange will, you know, go and run away with your money, but there's too many of these outside influence that could affect it. Don't take any risks. Last but not least here, uh, well, I'll get into that after. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. And if you found the video informative, I know you'll find my books, The Money GPS, and my new release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. I have um, the ability at Amazon there. If you'd like, you can go and flip through the pages of the books to see if you like them. Take care. And last but not least, something that I wanted to show you, check this out. I just designed this t-shirt and I hope you guys like it. It's the first one. I want this t-shirt for myself. I'm definitely going to buy one and uh, wear it to the gym for sure. This one here is just one example of how it's going to be. It's probably hard to tell, but right there in tiny font that says the money gps.com i don't want to have a big symbol the money gps.com on everything i just wanted to put it there small you know keep it little hidden unless you're looking up close to it that's the only time you'll be able to read that otherwise it makes a statement say no to gmo the only thing i wanted to know from you guys out there is how does this look in terms of the distance in between the collar and where the text begins. So I'm not, I can't resize this image anymore, but should it be higher or not? I can't really tell. I think that's about fair, but perhaps a little higher. Anyway, I just want you individuals to have a say in this type of work here. I'm, I'm doing this, well, obviously for myself, I want the t-shirt, but I know many of you may want this as well. I'd like your opinion on that. Please let me know in the comments. And uh, just 
I'll just take those away so you can see that for yourself. Please let me know. Take care.